wonder why we program speed 0 to 255 in the Sphero EDU app? Well, actually, it's a representation of binary. And binary is an understanding of the most basic part of computer programming, simple ones and zeros. Sphero robots only have 128,000 to 256,000 bytes, which is tiny compared to your mobile phone or computer, which has millions of bytes. So it's really important to define things at the lowest level with the least amount of memory. Memory at its most basic form consists of ones and zeros. A simple example is how a computer counts to five. Zero, one, 10, 11, 100, 101. Each byte can contain eight ones or zeros. And with eight digits, the biggest number you can make is 255. One, 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 one. 1111. Therefore, using the smallest amount of memory for a value, one byte, offers a range of 0 to 255. While it's important to understand those basic bytes of memory, it also helps if we can normalize a lot of this data. Normalization sometimes makes it easier to mentally manage all of this data. So instead of trying to figure out 0 to 255, we can normalize it and do 1 to 100, maybe like a percent of the speed. To do that, in this example, we'll normalize the speed using two variables, one called normal speed and the other called percent speed. Normal speed will represent the normalized speed that we want, and percent speed will be the calculation we need to calculate that normal speed. So after creating the two variables, we'll need to add an operator block into the percent speed set variable. In percent speed, we'll need two operators to do the calculation to determine the normal speed. Drag the normal speed block over, divide it by 100, and multiply times 255. Now, you'd be able to place the percent speed variable anywhere in your program where you normally would program the speed. So instead of having to program 0 to 255, you could create a speed of 1 to 100. So now, you can normalize just about any number inside of the Sphero EDU app. In this case, we did the speed to make it easier from 1 to 100 as opposed to 0 to 255. We'd love to see what you guys come up with in your next program, and we'll see you next week for another Thursday Learn Day.